And this thing is actually gonna make your passenger a lot more happy and it's gonna make the ride a lot more enjoyable than before. On the box, all you're gonna get is the actual two pieces with all the hardware included. Let's get rid of that. We got here the two pieces with the Allen screws. We got here the tenium ones. They look really nice. They're CNC machine made, solid aluminum. They got some nice weight to it. They are not crazy heavy, but they're not like extremely light like you expect them to be. They got some nice weight to it. So we got all here, left and right. And we got here the Allen screws, stainless steel. Allen key screws with locking washers and everything. So we got two long ones and two small ones with their locking washer. Okay, so this is all you're gonna get in the box. The actual two pieces. You're gonna get two long Allen screw and two shorter ones with four locking washers. That's all you're gonna get in the box. But well, let's proceed and see the tools we're gonna need for this. Let's get into it. So here are the tools you're gonna need. It's just a six millimeter Allen key and a five millimeter Allen key. If you don't happen to have a different type of Allen key, because I highly suggest that if you're gonna be installing this on your bike and you don't have any of these type of Allen keys with the rounded head, I highly suggest to get one of these kits. These things are actually really, really helpful. Taking those screws out is gonna be like kind of tricky if you don't have these ones. I'll highly suggest to have a, a small wrench so you can apply a little bit of more, more torque in this way. If anything, just get the rounded head Allen screw. These things are actually really, really helpful to have. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open that up obviously and you're going to see two screws here in the inside. You're going to be able to see one right away and the other one is going to be like really really in there. i give you a closer look. And as you can see that one right there that's going to be like really difficult to get. If you can see with the normal Allen key it's really difficult but if you happen to have the one with the rounded hair you'll see it's going to be a lot more easier to break that free. And since those screws are like really deep in there and you're not able to put the enough torque with this little part of the Allen key, that's why we need the, the, the wrench because you're gonna be able to put that in there, help you break that free like that, you know? So you, you can get more leverage onto the screw to be able to remove it. Once it's loose, this is where the rounded head comes helpful. Something you can actually do to get more clearance is once you close this a little bit, you can see how the spring moves back a little bit and you're gonna be able to like you can have a little bit of more room to get the Allen key into that screw if you struggle a little bit as you can see this one it gets really close to the foot pack and you don't want to scratch your foot pack and that's why I highly suggest getting the rounded head because then you're gonna be able to like go into a side a little bit more and apply the enough door because if not you have the risk of scratching your, your foot pack maybe you can put a little bit of blue tape or something here to protect it if you don't happen to have that Allen key but as you can see you can easily put the one with the rounded head and go a little bit into a side and then when with our wrench you can come here and apply it another door so we can break that free and once we got that one loose we can actually remove this one try not to lose it got some washers in there and then we can proceed to grab the foot pack with your hand like that hold it and once you remove the last one you want to keep pushing against the thing so you don't like lose and drop inside the frame that's gonna be a pain in the butt <laughs> so you just want to hold it against the, the piece and pull it out in this direction you want to pull the back one first like that and bring it outside like that so it's actually not that difficult it's just kind of tricky with the allen keys and if you don't happen to have the the one with the rounded head it's just a little bit more tricky to play around with it so once we have removed that piece you want to grab your your foot stander get it nice and ready you want to put the locking washers in the two screws and as you can see I have like a little bit of anti-seize on these screws because this tends to get a little bit of corroded since this is like exposed into the rain and everything I highly suggest to put some anti-seize in those screws the long one goes into the first slot here that goes into the one in the back and the short one goes into the, the one in the front as you can see how they look one is completely straight and the other one goes into a little bit on a side these ones are the one with the six millimeter allen key you can actually use this with a regular allen key and you just want to like i'm gonna put this washer here because for another purpose but then you just want to slide that in you know hold both screws and get those started <music> next thing you want to do is you want to grab your got our foot rest here 
You want to open that up. So you want to swap your Allen screw here and you want to get that one started. Maybe you can help out with your finger first. Get that one in. And once you got that one in, you can proceed and slide the second one so it holds the piece in place. I'll suggest closing this just slightly because that spring is going to tend to push the, the screw a little backwards and it's not going to allow you to put the, the screw on the front. Oh well, and that's it. This is how easy you install this beautiful and functional hook extender on your Vespa. And this is actually really helpful for your passenger and, and it's gonna make the ride a lot more enjoyable because as you already know, the original position of the footrest is like really on the way, not only for the driver, but also for the passenger. It's really uncomfortable in that position. Like some passengers are like really short and they don't even get their foot all the way into the footrest at all. So it's not really cool having those things here. Like if you ride a lot with passengers, this is a must have for your best bike. It's a really functional piece that you can add to your bike. I highly recommend it. If you want to get yours, make sure you check them out at scooterbout.com. We have a wide variety of options and colors for you to choose. Of course, we got different colors for this version. We got the titanium one. We got the chrome one if you're a chrome lover. And we also have another option that I don't have with me just yet, but I'm going to link them down below. And, and it's another foot extender, same way. And it's the same material and everything. CNC machine, the same colors and everything. It is just that covers this hole right here. And it actually it looks really nice if you don't like having this hole like that and it looks like weird to you so make sure to check them out at the scooterbout.com these are actually like my favorite design because it's not just a slimmer design but i think they're in my opinion they look pretty nice i don't really mind that hole left in the scooter to use like the other option the other option it looks actually pretty unique because it looks it was designed for that best but you know so oh well make sure you click that like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more great content and share with your friends see you in the next one thank you peace